Hi there guys, it's Chris here with selfmainnewbie.com and in this video we're going to go through the best portable printers currently out there today. Now I've tried to keep this list as comprehensive as possible, narrowing it down to my absolute favourite top 5. So no matter what you're looking for, there'll definitely be something in this list for you. So before we jump in, drop a like and subscribe and turn on the bell to be updated with new videos. All right, so as usual, I'm gonna skip all the fluff and just jump into my recommendations. And if you wanna confirm what they are, go down into the description there and check out that list to ensure you get the absolute lowest pricing. All right, so kicking it off with my overall favorite, and this is the Polaroid High Print. So this is the most well-rounded phone photo printer of all of the models. So at six by three by one inches in size, the high print has roughly the same dimensions as a large screen smartphone, although a little bit thicker. Its glossy white finish is accented by a rainbow of colors that wrap around one end of the printer, making it easy to find uh, in your bag or whatnot. So connecting it to a smartphone or tablet via Bluetooth is very simple, as was installing the combination paper ink cartridge that the high print uses to create two by three inch prints of your photos. Within minutes, you're gonna have the printer set up and ready to start printing pictures. And you don't really need the instruction manual. Everything is pretty self-explanatory and very intuitive. In addition to allowing your phone to communicate with the high print, the companion app also provides some basic editing tools. So you can change the framing of the shot you're, you're about to print, alter it with a filter, or you know add colorful digital stickers and things like that. There are plenty of more powerful imaging editing apps out there, but still having these options built into the app is a nice touch. You can even use the app to capture new photos without having to switch over to your smartphone's camera interface. Now the high print printer isn't the fastest, but it isn't slow enough that you're gonna be annoyed by it either. And although the high print didn't offer the best image quality of all of the models on this list, its prints were still very crisp and largely you know, true to uh, the digital photo. So the pros of this in a nutshell, easy to set up, above average print quality, a fun stylish design, and the cons are um, not really uh, any worth mentioning. The next one on the list is the Canon Ivy. Now Canon has worked very hard to make its Ivy portable printer uh, very fun. It's compact, available in a number of colors and equipped with wrist strap eyelets for portability. And all in all, it could be the perfect accessory for, tween, for a tween shutterbug. The Canon Ivy uses two by three inch zinc photo paper with a peelable backing, allowing you to turn your photos into stickers. And the Bluetooth connectivity is reliable, enabling a smooth printing process. And these print within about 50 seconds. The colors are a little bit muted though, looking less vibrant than they do on most phones. And many of the test prints take on a slight bluish hue, uh, turning pinks into kind of dull purples, and skin tones might suffer from the same issue. Uh, as with many mobile phone printers, the battery life is also a bit lackluster. Uh, you can easily print more than a dozen photos on a single charge though, uh, but you'll wanna bring a charging cable if you need any more than that. So the pros are really the compact, compact design, the quick printing, and the cons are just that color accuracy and also the poor battery life, which is actually common among most uh, pr photo printers. The next one on my list is the Kodak Step. So with a footprint of only 4.5 by three by one inch, the sleek lightweight design of the Kodak Step makes it easy to slip into a small backpack or even your pocket. Setting it up is very easy. It's companion app available on iOS and Android walks you through the process connecting your phone to the printer via Bluetooth. The printer also uh, appears immediately in the app. So you're ready to print photos really within a few minutes of taking this out the box. The app's user interface is easy to navigate and offers a wealth of editing choices. There is a wide selection of stickers, filters, and frames to choose from. A collage feature will let you assemble your favorite photos into a single print as well. And the step prints photos on two by three inch zinc photo paper. And this ink-free technology means you don't have to worry about replacing ink cartridges. And printing a photo takes really no time at all, about as little as 40 seconds for one picture. And you can churn out about 20 pictures on a single charge. Now once printed, the photos from this appear pretty crisp with a surprising amount of detail. However, the color reproduction is not always accurate. You tend to get a little bit of a reddish hue and skin tones are often a little bit warm. Likewise, black and white photos have a faint pink or red hue as well. Uh, the pros though in a nutshell, easy to set up, quick printing and a great companion app 
and the cons are just again a little bit poor color accuracy. The next one on my list is uh, the Fuji Film Instax Mini Link. And as one of the smallest models out there, the Fuji Film Instax Mini Link is perfect for just on the go. The app lets you customize prints by applying filters and adding fun captions. You can also buy photo paper with designs already printed on it to add even more character. This was the only model I've seen where photos developed after being printed and I felt like the smartphone had been transferred into a cla classic Polaroid camera. It's a real pleasure watching the photos that Instax produced slowly coming to life. That said, impatient photographers might find this charming uh, nostalgic aspect um, to be a deal breaker. It can take up to five minutes before all the colors in the print finish processing. However, this pokey method of printing speeds things up in another area because the photo develops after leaving the printer. Uh, it's easier to print a number of photos in quick succession. That makes it great for quickly sharing pictures with friends. I also like how this one tells you how many shots it can print before needing more paper and no other device actually does that. So the pros in a nutshell, many options to edit photos and also that unique developing process. The cons are, it does actually take a bit of time to develop each picture. And the final one on my list is the LifePrint 2x3 Hyperphoto Printer. So at 45 by 3 by one inch and only seven ounces, this LifePrint 2x3 Hyperprint is by far the smallest and lightweight option I've ever seen. It is also the fastest one, taking only around 30 seconds to print a photo. Some of this speed comes from using zinc or zero ink technology uh, that combines the ink and photo paper. But the resulting two by three photos were probably the worst on this list. The images were very soft, they lacked any crisp detail, and I noticed subtle um, artifacts in areas of solid color. The colors were also muted compared to other printers here. On the positive side, the LifePrint app did have a lot of customization options, including the unique ability to turn a still photo into a short video through augmented reality. Using the app, you can hover your camera over a photo and it will come to life for a few seconds. Now this is extremely gimmicky, but it's just kind of a neat trick uh, and it's fun the first times uh, you try it out. The printer also has its own social network to share videos and images. Uh, but looking at some of the features, it's clear LifePrint is aiming for a younger audience. They're prioritizing fun over quality. And you know, some of you uh, might exact want exactly that. So the pros of this, the small design and the fast prints, the augmented reality photos, and the cons, as I said, it does lack in detail. All right, guys, so hopefully there's something on that list for you, whether you want something high quality, something lower quality but fast, something portable, something with editing features. Hopefully I've included something there for you. If you do have any questions, though, drop them in the comments below. And if you found value in this video, drop a like and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. Take care.